Hello everybody, here we are once again with John Collins at Southland City College, Birmingham. A simple short demonstration on nulling and cancelling null of your leads using your multifunction tester. Today we've got the QTEC KT65DL, but it doesn't matter, this applies just the same as if I was using the 64. It's on the continuity setting there, as you can see. Now next to the F1, if you've got a little tick, it means your leads have been nulled. So the first step is to cancel the null. As you can see on the tester itself at the moment, there's no leads in there. So to cancel it, all I simply do is push and twist the test button, and whilst in testing mode, I press the F1 button. And as you'll see there, the tick has disappeared from the F1. Okay, that's the first step. We simply then get our leads, and all your dead testing, whether you're doing insulation resistance or continuity, is always on these two ports here, your brown port and your green port. So corresponding leads simply go in, like so, pop them in there, your two leads are in, and now you want to null them. So turn the test around, let's keep it nice and simple. I push and twist. We haven't got a circuit, so it's displaying open circuits. In this case here, I'm using crocodile clips, brown clip up, green clip down, make a circuit. Once the reading is stabilised, all you have to do then is press the F1 button, press it once, just release, and it goes to zero. Okay? And there you have it, cancelling the null and nulling. I'll just demonstrate again to cancel the null. So imagine if I want to cancel the null, I must have an open circuit, no circuit there at all. The test is measuring, and to take it away, I simply press the F1, and the null is off. And to re my leads, you must make a circuit. And once you've made your circuit and the leads are stabilised, you simply press the F1 button, and it goes to zero. And there you have it. Nulling and counter nulling using your KT65 DL. Remember folks, Johnny Ace is on the case.